Welcome back, everyone. We are the Liberty Intelligence Organization Network. I am, going to, I am the co-founder and going to be your host today. You all may refer to me as the captain. Um, so basically, if you've been following our segments here of our initial broadcast, which is uh, a number of videos we've been uploading to YouTube, uh, you understand that what we're, we're focusing on now is the emergence of a free state, of a control state that uh, will bring in or help to bring in a new world order. Uh, now, what people need to be aware of, of is with the New World Order, uh, you will not benefit. The New World Order is not meant for us as individuals. The New World Order is meant for the people who are trying to establish the New World Order, the corporate enterprises, the wealthy bankers. Um, I hesitate to say the politicians because the politicians are actually being manipulated by these guys as well. So, so when the New World Order fully comes into effect and they make us all their slaves, the politicians are going to be right there alongside of us, most of them, as slaves. Um, because, again, they're just the puppets, and we're really talking about the New World Order. The puppeteers are going to be the ones who are on top. And it literally is, they call it the New World Order, but it's more like the old world, back where there were kings and serfs, and the king owned all the land and owned all the people that worked on the land. Um, we're really moving back towards that, except instead of kings, it's going to be CEOs and wealthy banksters. Uh, that are going to be ruling us all as slaves, and, and they'll own everything, and they'll literally own us as individuals. They'll own us as property. We'll no longer be human beings to them. We'll be human resources. Um, so that being said, uh, if you've been following us, what we're talking about in this segment, uh, what we talked about in earlier segments is the targeting citizens and veterans as terrorists. They're training police to be more like the military. Um, and basically, they're destroying the very values and and, and documents and ideals that this country was, was based on, that the United States of America was built upon. They're destroying it because, um, here, here's a little fact for you guys, if you want to create a new world order, you first have to destroy all countries. So the new world order is based off a of world government, and you can't have a one world government if there's still little governments in existence. Um, so basically the United States has been the central hub of the new world order for a long time. Uh, and they've used us, they've used our, our politicians, and they've used our military to help destroy the rest of the world. And you can look around today, most of the rest of the world is in shambles. Uh, whether it's the Middle East, whether it's Europe, whether it's in Africa, uh, whether it's Asia, uh, whether it's Latin America. I mean, the world is in shambles right now. Um, and the United States is barely h hanging on. We're hanging on by thread. That's why I'm getting these videos out here, because we don't have much time left, to, folks. Soon they're going to destroy this country, and then, you know, get ready to say the Pledge of Allegiance to the New World Order. Um, and you don't want to do that because you're basically giving up your humanity by doing that. Um, so that being said, I got a bunch of articles here. I'm not going to go over all of them. It's all about the militarization of a police and, how, and the dangers that that poses. Um, I got one article here. It says, uh, I used to remember back when I was a kid, the police used to wear light blue uniforms or khaki uniforms where I live. Uh, and in recent years, they've all switched to black. And one of these articles is just a TV trope that says if you want to signify someone as a good guy, you dress them in light and bright colors. But if you want to signify somebody as a bad guy or evil, you dress them in dark colors, like dark blue or black. And if I got an uh, article here. We're going to link to this stuff. I got an article here by a psychologist who points out the, the, the psychological effects of the police uniform. And what he says is, is basically the same thing. When, when police officers wear black, they're more associated with evil or wrongdoing, and citizens feel more uncomfortable around them. Um, and again, this is the goal of the New World Order, because they're not trying to make a safer world for us. They're trying to control us. And if you dress the police in black and they intimidate people, boom, we're under their control. We've lost our, our, our will to stand up. Um, and again, I have nothing against police or military. I, in fact, I really want you all to wake up before anyone else, because you will be our first line of defense against the New World Order. So. So you, you can either pick a side to be with the New World Order, or you can pick a side to be with humanity. And you have to make that choice yourself. Um, and again, I, I, I relate this to the zombie stuff that I talk about. When I talk about zombies, it's not the brain eating zombies, it's people that don't think for themselves. And you have to make that choice, whether you're going to be a zombie or whether you're going to be a human being. I advise you to choose human being. Uh, and I advise you to listen to the information and actually start being active in the world you live in instead of waiting for somebody to tell you how to see the world or how to live your life. Live your life. Um, look into your soul. Trust me, there's a lot of information in your soul that will help you guide yourself to a better life. 
um, instead of buying into you know the gangster rap music or, or the, the the newest reality TV show or what this celebrity says. You know, look in yourself um, to see who you really are. Uh, and I spent a long time doing that in my life. Um, but basically, the main article I want to talk about here. Let me find it real quick. I got I just got a bunch of them here. Uh, I'll I'll try and link to them. Um, let me do a time check real quick. Uh, yeah, I might not. I might just uh, let me run. Let me run run through that one article I want to mention. Let me find it real quick. Uh, here it is. Uh, basically, this one talks about the dangers of of making police more like military. And the main thing this one stresses is that you got to remember a police officer was originally meant to serve and protect. That was their their, their job to serve and protect the community. Uh, whereas a soldier's job, a military personnel's job, is to identify the enemy, kill the enemy, and try not to kill non-enemies. That's what a soldier's job. So if you're training police like soldiers, you're not training police officers anymore to serve and protect. You're training police officers to kill enemies. Um, and like I told, like we've mentioned in earlier videos, they're also being trained that the enemies are American citizens and returning veterans. So if they're being trained to kill the enemy and they're being told the enemy is American citizens, what do you think is going to happen? And again, if you've looked at uh, some of the videos we have in earlier or, or earlier segments, some of the links we provide, you'll see the police uh, acting very, very soldier-like. They're not serving or protecting. They are identifying enemies and killing enemies. And those enemies happen to be helpless American citizens most of the time, and either mentally handicapped or totally unaware of what's going on, or or physically handicapped. And those are the most disturbing when they when they pick on these mentally handicapped and physically handicapped people. That is just outrageous. And on a side note, and a historical fact for you, those were the first people targeted by the Nazis, uh, the handicapped people and the, the mentally disabled people. And in fact, they, they were basically killed, um, along with the Jews, along, uh, along with any other minority group within Germany or the countries that Germany conquered. Um, so that being said, um, in our first broadcast, uh, let me do another quick time check. I might be ending the video now and do another video that's just going to be an explanation of, of, of what we're getting into later. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to end this video. So basically, this was about the militarization of police and the dangers that it poses to us because if they're being trained like soldiers, they're being trained to kill enemies, and they're being taught that we're the enemies. That, that How many of you text? text message on your phone in a public place, you know, while you're at work or while you're at a restaurant or while you're walking in the park or, or anything like that. And you, and you don't want other people to see what you're texting. Well, if you do that, you're, you're one of the enemies. That you're be, They're being caught that you're an enemy just for, for text messaging in public. Um, and that's just one amongst many others. Again, I've went over this stuff in earlier videos, and I advise viewers, if this is the first one you're watching, go back and look at those other ones. Um, I say that because the, the, the videos that I posted, the ones that seem to get the most views are the ones that talk about zombies, and I mentioned zombies in this one, but you got to remember I'm not talking about real zombies, I'm talking about, or I am talking about real life zombies, I'm not talking about the, the fictional zombies that you see in movies and stuff, in The Walking Dead, I'm not talking about those zombies. Um, and for future, uh, basically, let, let me end the video now. Um, I want to thank everyone for joining us, and I want to, I want to, you know, hopefully you'll stay tuned. Hopefully you'll really start getting into InfoWars, Alex Jones, World Net Daily, and Drudge Report. Hopefully you'll really start looking at them as opposed to looking at me because they have better information. They have real journalists who can get out there and, and, and really investigate stuff better than this no-budget YouTube channel can do. We're, again, a news recap show. We don't find the news. We recap the most important news for you all to know. So uh, that's going to be it. I want to thank you all again for joining. I want you all to stay safe, to stay strong, to stay free, to stay alive, and to stay informed. Uh, I'm the captain, and I'm signing off. I'll see you all in the next segment.